What's up, my V love? You guys, today we are eating rotisserie chicken with the sauce with some Hawaiian rolls for my husband. We have eggs and cucumbers. I have water. He has Hawaiian punch. Ready? Yes. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this food and drink that we're about to receive. We ask, Father, you bless it, that it may be nourishing to our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. My husband's hangry. Listen, y'all. I can't. Mm. I'm so hungry right now. I got the coldest water bottle in the building. If you guys want free shipping, all you gotta do is say water break. Whoop, the whoop. link is down in the description box below. So go check them out, y'all. Go check them out. So we ready? Man, yeah. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. You ready? Come on. Let's go. Let's, Let's get go. a thumbnail in. Oh, I was gonna hold my thing up like this. No, no, no. Baby. You gotta, you gotta get that. You okay. Okay, got it. Right. I wasn't gonna do what you did. That stuff is hot. It's not hot. Okay. Ooh, Anyways, yo. so y'all, we got this sauce and ooh. we got some eggs over here, cucumber. Eggs. And today we're giving a giveaway. We're having a Christmas giveaway, and I'm excited. We're gonna give five two hundred and fifty dollar Visa cards to someone in this um of one of our subscribers or a few several of our subscribers. Bye five of our subscribers and then we're going to give y'all said it was going to be a spicy and a mouth we don't have mouth we, we don't we have we have very limited mouth so what i'm going to have to do is give you guys um spicy huh two spices and y'all it's not overly spicy but i'm having you two packs of spicy that's just how it is i don't even have access to the sauce like that because we have to purchase the sauce from Amazon as well because it runs out so fast oh my gosh mm. it's about to go down y'all I ain't even started okay give me this give me this listen he's not, gonna, he's not gonna talk much because he's hungry I have been thinking about <coughs> this bread that bread. You don't want none, No. I don't want no. I mean, Hawaiian rolls, they sweet, ain't they? Yeah, they sweet. Yeah, I'm trying to wait this sauce fall out. But see, what I'm trying to do out here is I'm trying to get me mm. some meat in between this bread, y'all. And then I'm going to put me some smackalicious sauce on this. And I'm about to have me a smackalicious. Rotisserie chicken sandwich. Y'all see what I'm saying? Okay. Whatever. Mm. Ooh. Listen. It's hot. Is it, is it really hot? Oh, you trying to put some in the middle. Listen, anyways, y'all. To together over here. Anyways, we have eggs over here too. That's it. Eggs and cucumbers. Uh, y'all love my face. What? I went on the um. Mm. I had my first photo shoot. Oh yeah. And it went really well. I really like my pics. I did four looks. And I'm gonna show you guys all about it. I mean my um looks and everything once I get the pics back. But it came out really good. It was my first photo shoot and I really enjoyed it. Um everything came out nice. I prayed about it before we even went because I was so nervous. Because then you know you can have photo shoot your hair don't be right or you can get a person that don't do your makeup right or you can get a person that ain't gonna style you right but everything stop what you're doing go get a roast rotisserie chicken get you some bread put some smack delicious sauce oh on it oh my goodness Woo! this bad boy is slamming he hungry too y'all mind y'all oh my gosh it's slamming Get you, oh, look at that. Mmm, look at that chicken. Mmm, mmm. I don't even know what I was even saying. And bread smoking up. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. You were talking about something. Mm hmm. I don't know. But it wasn't this. He was talking about that photo shoot. Yeah, but, it man. went so well, mm. y'all. I was so happy. And they had me looking really pretty. I had to do it. You know when you start a photo shoot 
they tell you to do all these moves and stuff. And, and I was so, I'm like, okay, what do I do? What do I do? And they trying to tell me what to do, how to do it. Like he, I'm like, he's telling me, don't let me call up Darius. <laughs> and so I got more comfortable with it. At the time, she but, did a fantastic job. Mm-hmm. And especially difficult when you got all these people in the room. You know what I'm saying? We have all these people. We had the photographer. We had the makeup artist. We had the hair people. We had the designers. We had the uh, mm, the stylist, uh, mm. st stylists, and mm. publicists, and all that stuff. So I was like, okay, what am I supposed to do now? But anyway, mm. it turned out really well, and I'm so happy. If my husband don't stop, huh? I told them to stop. <laughs> stop what you're doing. Not everything. Listen. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I got. Mm. Rotisserie chicken. Mm -hmm. Spicy smackalicious sauce. Hawaiian rolls. Them sweet ones. Oh, listen here. Change your life. I ain't playing with y'all. I'm not even joking. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man, my mind, my mind, my mind. Listen, I just want to eat I, just, I need a knife or something. I just need Why? to get the, I just need to get the because I ain't got knife fingers like you with them nails. Just dissecting over there. Let me get me a knife. Look at that thing right there, baby. The knife thing. Baby, the knife thing. Over there, honey, honey. I just I told you. I don't need that sharp knife. I don't need uh, whatever. I'm gonna get a regular one. Anyways, y'all, I'm going to surgery tomorrow. Surgery. So Y'all gonna be seeing videos from Nate, a yes. few of them, because I had I was busy out here doing photo shoots and interviews and stuff, and I was just too much. It just too much was going on. Doing I got to go get blood work. Y'all see my blood? Got my blood drawn. I still got my thing on. Donna. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got my blood drawn and everything. So going back and forth to the doctors and stuff. So I had to make sure everything was um, right before surgery. Everything is kosher. Everything is kosher. So I'm ready to um, get done. Listen, listen. Mm. If you ain't, if you don't know what's going on right now, mm -hmm. let me just explain it to you. Let me explain something let to you. Let me explain something to you. I have a piece of rotisserie. Y'all don't even know how happy I am right now. I'm so hungry. I have a piece of rotisserie chicken. You know that skin is the best part. I know they tell you not to eat the skin. I know it. They do? Yeah, they tell you the oh. skin is the most unhealthy part for you. Ah, that skin it's is, where it's, it's all crunchy. the flavor is, y'all. Especially. Y'all know it. Put that in there like that right there. So that smack delicious sauce and dip, baby. Dip. Look at that. Oh. I'm hungry, y'all. I know y'all think I'm crazy, but I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. Every time you hungry, y'all. Mm. Mm. Who best believe he's gonna be acting like that? Mm -mm. Y'all need to get you some. Cause this ain't no joke. This is kind of the mild version, and I put a little spice in it. What a spicy it be at I'm the add. Amazon soon, y'all. Yeah. Literally within like um, seven to ten days. Yeah, they finished with the uh, fill, so that's a good thing, or maybe sooner. Mm -hmm. But it'd be thirty thousand. Probably sooner. It's, it's gonna be thirty thousand packs. Mm -hmm. And y'all trust and believe the spicy is not as spicy as y'all think. I know I'm a spice queen, but it's not that spicy like that. Mm -mm. It's like commercial spice. Especially if you write commercial spice. Especially if you add your own little stuff. I know some people add a little sugar, extra sugar to there, or they add um, a lemon, a natural lemon, um, mm -hmm. or Old Bay. Even though I got Obey in it, you can add extra Obey. Whatever you want to add to mm. this stuff to make it to your liking, you can do. Mm. Whew, it's, mm. it's good. Mm. I added more sugar to this than other stuff. Oh my gosh. I just taste it and go. Taste it as I go. We are going to vlog my, uh, a little bit, right, baby? Cause he gotta go shopping, pick up my, make my, um, stuff, my, um, medicine. 
Um, y'all may see me in the video. Mm, mm, mm. I bounced back pretty fast though. So I should be down for long. So with the uh, five, so we're gonna try to get this out. We are gonna get this out. Cause I don't care if I overnight. Y'all gives out two, you know, five. How much is it? I said five, five two hundred and fifty dollar gift card, Visa gift card for y'all. Get y'all some seafood or whatever y'all want to do for Christmas. And the two packages of sauce. Uh, that's not real. Mm. 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 Just know this: if you know that you know seafood is expensive. So you definitely don't have to use the 250 for the seafood if you don't want to, because you can eat this with anything. Turkey legs, chicken, eggs. Rotisserie chicken. Anything you want. Hawaiian roll. And you ain't got to worry about all of that other, you know what I'm saying? Expensive food, you should have you some extra money if you want to, to buy some gifts or something. Do mm. it that way. Mm-mm. Mm Mm, that's good. I like the eggs, y'all. Me too. You too? Mm. Listen, y'all. I know I ain't said much, but I'm talking loud right now. I'm trying to tell y'all how good this is. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. And you know what they say, actions speak louder than words. So I ain't got to talk much for y'all to know that this stuff is off the chain. You weren't saying nothing. I know. I'm wasting stuff all of my What you hearing right now is the sound of a man. Working on, working the, on the chain. chain. <laughs> Listen. Gang. Listen. That's what I'm doing What's right now. What's the sound of the man working okay. on the chain? Gang. That. Oh, gosh. Mm. That's the sound of the man smacking on the smack. Delicious sauce. That's the sound of a man smacking on the smack. Sauce. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Really? Mm-hmm. I don't even want to look up. I don't eat funny. Mm hmm? I'm eating funny. It's my favorite. Mm-hmm. I'm eating good. Yeah, that mm -hmm. sauce is good, y'all. Man. This setup is his own head. He was hungry, y'all. He was hungry. When my husband hungry, everything tastes extremely, extremely good to him. Listen. It's still good. I'm going to tell you what. Whoa. Mm -mm -mm. At any rate, the, the, the rules. What's, What's the, the rules? What, What's the rules? What's the rules to this guy? You must be a follower on YouTube. You must have followed, be, been following me, because I can check that in my analytics. I know y'all think I can't, but I can. I can check if you're a subscriber. You must be subscribed, and you guys want to check to make sure you are subscribed, because sometimes YouTube will unsubscribe you to the channel. So make sure you're a subscriber, and make sure you follow me on Instagram at Life the number two. That's it. I'm not going to get y'all to mess it up. And if you're part him, that's it. I don't have Instagram. What did I do last time? I told them to follow me mm -hmm. under somebody else. What did I say? No. That's what? crazy. What did I say last time? Because anybody can say, oh, I follow you under so and so. You have no proof. Huh? Oh, have some proof. How you got so proof of that? I don't know. Follow me on Instagram, y'all. It'd be looked like too. Those two things. Listen. Follow me after this. This rotisserie chicken. Follow me in. 
at this. Look at this. Look, look, look. Oh! Put him in there. Put him in there. We had potato salad, but I didn't feel like doctoring it up because my husband don't like the potato salad from the store. Listen. I always got to doctor it up. That potato salad from the store, when you open the top, it says, doctor, doctor, quick, quick, quick. Come over here. Bro. <laughs> I don't taste good. Fix me up. <laughs> Ooh, y'all don't know. Oh, and you know how easy it is. Look at that. How easy it is to to dip because the bread just sucks it all up, and them onions and ginger on top. Oh my gosh. Mm mm mm. Mm I'm gonna keep it one hundred with y'all. I don't be liking these rotisserie chickens like that. I don't like that at all. I can't mm -mm. stand it. But this bad boy, with this sauce, y'all don't even know. I don't even like a lot of seafood. I don't like a lot of seafood. Because it's too much work. I would not eat a muscle at all. But I'm going to tell you what makes it all worth it for me. The sauce. I literally, I tell everybody this. I have sauce, no, I have seafood with my sauce. Mm -hmm. Not the other way around. Mm -hmm. And right now, I'm having this rotisserie chicken with my sauce. Mm. Hell yeah. Mm hmm. All right, let me eat it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give me a, I can't get it tall. I'm gonna pour. You're gonna pour? And I'm making a mess. Mm. Over here. Mm. That's all I'm thinking about. So, y'all, there it is. I'm gonna keep y'all long. The rules to the game. What? Where we at? I got a story time. Minutes. Well, after the story time, we're gonna let y'all go. Mm mm mm. Mm -hmm. But um, we're gonna try to get that stuff out quick. We are gonna get it out quick. We ain't gonna try. We're gonna get it out quick. Mm -hmm. Cause y'all gotta have it before Christmas. Well, before Christmas, at least at the by the twentieth. But like I said, two packs of spicy. I hope y'all like spicy. And what I was to suggest to you guys, let me tell you how it's not gonna be that spicy. If you use just a little bit of the spice. I mix and put like two sticks of butter and a, a lot of uh, chicken broth, it will calm the heat down a lot. Okay? What? Mm-hmm. So. What'd you say? I said it calms the heat down. So you're getting sleepy, huh? Getting that item? Did the ice again? Because mm -hmm. of that bread. Everything I touch right now is turning to gold. Got that eye touch. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me just highlight y'all for a second. Here's his story time. I don't know what it is. It ain't really a story time, you know. What it is is I was reading an article mm -hmm. and they was talking about listen, I got my eyes closed. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> I, I, I saw somebody. I mean not y'all. What you call that thing you got? A chin. My bear, my bear. Listen, y'all. Real talk. I was reading. Uh, <clears throat> I was reading an article, mm -hmm. and hopefully I can find it if I, I link it. But anyway, I was reading this article about um, family men members turning returning home for oh. um, from prison. Mm. Oh, and you know how you you read something, especially if you if you don't have the first hand experience with something. You read stuff like that and your mind goes through a lot of different like scenarios like what would you do and mm -hmm. how would you feel and mm -hmm. you know and you know how do you receive a loved one back into the family after mm -hmm. they've been in you know incarcerated for some period of time you yeah. know what I'm saying like what goes through your mind and one of the one of the headings was on, on there that was saying um, 
they were trying to figure out where is the line between being cautious and careful and loving unconditional. Mm. So you and want you don't want to make them feel like they're black sheep or they 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 thieves or criminals or what? Yeah, because I mean, when I was reading, I, I literally it kind of took you into the mind of somebody coming out of incarceration um back into the world if you've been in there for like 10 years right you lost a lot not only are you have you missed a lot in terms of like what's happened in the world in 10 years technology mm -hmm. and all that other stuff but also too like you've been in there in a situation where you didn't have to you know be a part of society you didn't have to worry about you know the, the trends and all this other stuff on top of that, right. you didn't have to worry about paying rent mm -hmm. or feeding yourself or clothing yourself, mm -hmm. where you was going to stay, none of that stuff. So it kind of took you into the mindset of somebody who's coming out of being in prison mm -hmm. and, and it made you think, just think about the new world that they're in right now, where now they have to figure out where they're going to stay, what they're going to eat. Mm -hmm. What they, you know, what they're going to wear. All this stuff is all at once. It's not a gradual thing. It's like you just got out. You got what you came in with, which is just your, your you know, the outfit that you had on. And now you got to figure out where you're going to stay. Mm -hmm. All this other stuff. Meanwhile, you already feel some type of way about what people are going to think about you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, so I'm reading this article and I haven't even gotten to the place where I can think about how I would receive that person because right now I'm in their mind thinking about how they're receiving the world, this new world, and, 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 and maybe feeling a little bit of shame or guilt or some type of way about, you know, how people are going to actually see them, perceive them and all this other stuff. And I'm thinking about that and I'm like, I never thought about that. I never, I never put myself in their shoes mm -hmm. to think about what they go through mm -hmm. when they're coming out. Now, you know how, you know, from, from a ministry, ministry standpoint, I know you don't just come right out. You go through a transition home and, and all this. So I understand the process, but at the same time, it's still, it's still you entering back into a society that you haven't been in for some time. And trying child. to figure out <clears throat> these new social norms and and how to conduct yourself and all this other stuff. Plus dealing, like I said, with how you feel about yourself, how you think people feel about you, depending on what it is you did to get yourself in there. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, from a family standpoint. From a family standpoint, no, right? Right, like from a family standpoint, because you know, you know, you went in, but there for whatever you went in for. And family had their opinions. Right, or they hide their purse. As soon as you walk around. Man, that, that's what I'm they saying. Purse. They, they, like, they, they come from their purse. They like, uh, I'm not leaving you in my house. You did. Everything is, <coughs> is just right? different. Went down yeah. the wrong part? Yeah, I did that earlier already. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's so that's what I'm saying. So every circumstance and situation is different based on what crime or thing that you did to get in there, right? So like as, as the family member... This is where you kind of got to think about the balance between being, you know, cautious and safe and but also loving, loving unconditional. Loving because it's like, okay, you went in for, or you say you went in for that. But if you never stole from me all the time that you was around me, I'm probably not going to have no, no feelings like, oh, you're going to steal from me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's different than if, let's say you went in for child you know messing with children mm -hmm. and you come into my home and i have young children right you feel what i'm saying so it doesn't mean that i don't love you because in my mind i have to think about the safety of my kids mm -hmm. but at the same time it's like how do you balance that i think that's i listen i'm reading this article and i'm literally sitting to my thinking to myself like this is not an easy thing for families to go through mm -hmm. And even though I don't have, we don't, we don't have first-hand experience with it, just thinking through the process on both sides, like, 
what they're going through and what the family is going through trying to love that person back into society and take care of them meanwhile they've been away for some period of time so you really don't know who they are now they might have changed from they may have changed or they may not mm -hmm. and you know and given the i was going to use a big word i'm not going to say that given the rate of return where people were prison people that have been in prison actually go back for some crime or another being very high you you know you got to think about stuff like that you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so i was over reading i was like what do y'all think what do you think you would do in that situation some of y'all have had have been in the situation right and have dealt with it and if you dealt with it and it worked out i want to hear like your story how did you feel when when they first got out and you know, based on what they did, like, please, y'all ain't got to disclose all of what people right, did. Please don't do that. that. Yeah. Because they done served their time. They done did. did right. They done paid their debts to, to exactly. society. And then we don't need to be rehashing any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, that's why I literally, I know I was going to ask y'all something, but I'm a big believer in, in second chances because I don't think that as a society, we're open to it. Especially when you look at like uh, an application, and it's the, the the question on the application is, have you ever been convicted of a crime? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they literally like disqualify you for that. They make it so difficult Hard. to come back into society and be productive to the point where literally they almost like force you in a position where you still got to take care of yourself. Yeah, people don't forgive easy these people, days. People, they really don't. They no matter feel, what it is. No matter what it is, they don't forgive you and they still hold it over your head even though you suck. I'm so sorry. I didn't right. mean it that way. Forgive me and this and that and they still just hold over your head. I just thank God for Jesus. Mm. Oh, God. Uh, at the end of the day, shoot. I know. I'm like, okay, we ain't perfect. You know what I'm saying? No one is. And so we're going to make mistakes. We're going to have uh, bumps in the road along the mm -hmm. way. And that's, a, that's a thing called life. But when we do it, we should, people should be able to like forgive them if they see a change or let them get them another chance. Don't just shut them out. Okay, you did this. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to cut you off. Was it somebody that to y'all? Or somebody that, you know, did that to you and you would really need people forgiveness? Mm-hmm. And it's really bad in social media. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, you better not. It, I mean, if you're an actor or a singer or whatever, really, really big, and you messed up, yo, yo, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a cancel culture. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. But, like, it doesn't mean that while you're trying to love unconditionally that you also are not careful and thoughtful. Right. You know, as to the situation, understand what it is, understand the risk. You gonna remember, you know, you can remember things. You're not gonna forget. But you ain't gonna forget, but you still gonna forgive that person until they do something, whatever, that you, you know what I'm saying? They do it again. Yeah. And then you have to handle it accordingly. Well, the thing about it is, as it happened, his trust is broken. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. And the trust may not. That's the funny thing about trust. Like trust is specific to people um, that you are bonded with. So let me let me let me let me vet that out a little bit. You can know somebody is a, is a thief. Listen, I don't don't get high and mighty because I know I know folks y'all I know y'all know people that steal. Mm -hmm. You can know somebody that steals, and they can be your best friend, and you know they won't steal from you because you have that trust with them, even though you know they do all the dirt that they do. Right. So trust is personal. Right. So if you know, like I said, you can you can have your trust broken because they did something to you or they did something to your family yeah. members, but if that ain't, ain't happened. Then you still like, okay, yeah, I know you did what you did, you know what I'm saying? But I still trust you, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's an odd thing. Mm -hmm. But even in that situation where you trust them, you still like thinking. You still thinking, but in your mind, like you said, it's like, he wouldn't do like, that, he he wouldn't wouldn't do that, do that to that. me. That person won't do that to or me. Or she so. wouldn't do that to me, yeah. Right, you don't think that person do that to you, and they, you know what I'm saying? You trust them, and your guard is down, and you're like, okay, whatever, you know? But you know they would do it to somebody else. Oh.
uh, the camera cut off. But like I was saying, that person probably have a different respect for you. Right. And you know that they wouldn't do it to you. You know what I'm saying? So you you you're you're, you're safe. You feel safe. Right. That's odd how that works. Mm-hmm. That's odd how that works. Until it happens to you. Until it happens to you. Now you're on a different. You're in a different. It's a different. Scenario. It's a different. It's a different lane. It's a whole different lane. But. But it's also different based on what it is that they do. So we might say, well, <clears throat> they steal. I know they wouldn't steal from me. But it's different if you knew they messed with kids or something. And you brought you would you would definitely think a whole nother way of bringing them into your home around your kids. It's different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There ain't no trust thing there. Mm-hmm. When it comes to kids, there ain't no trust. Right. Cause you cause I think the difference is, and I am no psychologist, I'm gonna put that out there. I think the difference is one is more seen as a behavior uh-huh. that you're doing, and the other one is seen as a disorder. Right. I you mean, know, yeah. stealing is a behavior mm-hmm. that you do, whereas when you are like messing with kids or something like that, that is, that's like a psychological thing. There's a problem there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, it's just, and now to mention, you know, the kid probably don't ain't gonna say nothing. They try to. It's too much it, of a risk. It's too much of a risk, and you don't know if that child have been messed with, and they ain't gonna say nothing because right. they feel they scared, or you know, you yeah, don't never know what the situation could be. Yeah, but that's too much of a risk. I see a lot of people that you know go through a you know a lot of people go through things like coming you know for a, lo- a loved one coming home that's been locked up for 20, 30 years, they missed right. a whole lot. Remember when Darius said we was at Wingstop, mm-hmm. and we saw those two prison. They 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 two. They said we just we we were locked up for fifteen years. Oh yeah. And they was looking at our phones and oh, cameras. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. And they I was remember. like, "What is this? What is this object?" And they they really didn't know what it was and say, "What y'all do? Why do y'all got this big old machine?" And we looked at them like we really me and Darius looked at them weird like. Why is they asking us this stuff? Why? That, I, that, are you human? Are you from here? And that's the thing. We were judging like, why would you not know this? Like, are you right. trying to give me the okie doke? And they yeah. like, no, no. We're asking because. And then you gave, they gave you the right. story. We've now been in like, jail. We've been locked up for this many. And they was, you know, dressed nice. You can tell they really probably, you know, was trying to get themselves together and everything and get on their feet. I mean, well, it was but just But literally, like, when you in, like, life passes you by. They said it was lost up that mess. Like all this technology, all this um. I, I'm gonna tell you how hard social it media is was hard for them. They was like, "Wow!" To was like, catch up with society once you let it slip. Now I know guys literally from a tech perspective, like um, working in a, a technical, highly technical field. When I was, I know guys that were in their sixties that were top notch. They, they not, I mean, when I say top notch, I mean they work in cell phones. They work in you know uh, uh, machines from a from a, a electronics perspective. They they own it. They got it. Mm-hmm. And they taking pictures. They now now guys ain't really big on selfies and all that stuff. Not in my world. So they weren't doing all that. But yeah, like Facebook when it was big. Oh yeah, they was on Facebook. All oh, everybody on Facebook. Or what you call it, MySpace. MySpace, Facebook, yeah, they was they was all into that stuff. Mm-hmm. But like, if you not, and you let it pass you up, you become one of them people that can barely work a phone. Like, you get a new phone and it's like, I don't know how to use this thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or you lose the zeal. You don't even want to try it. If they that's that it's tech like, talk, it's you not even part of your world no more. No, like, I, I don't need to spend my time working on that because it's not even part of my world. Mm-hmm. But I, like, I, I'm telling you. I knew guys like in their sixties, we, cause we got new phones every two years, and one guy, I don't mention his name, of course, but he would grab his phone, new phone. He had that thing. He would know that phone backwards and forwards by the next day, and he was sixty. Some people, he just, he just, yeah, that's his thing. He was up on technology like that. You gotta be if you want to stay ahead. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I be feeling old. Like uh, some stuff, like I'll be like, "How you work this thing?" I don't even mean no. And you know what? Y'all? I'm technical. I'm highly technical when it comes to stuff. But it's like social media and technical ain't the same. 
This it. And you know, we be taking a lot of pictures, y'all. She do mostly. But mostly people are like, all right, can you take my picture? Can you take my? They be handing me these phones. And I'm like, okay, where the camera button on this? Because this is Snapchat and this is Instagram and this is this filter and that filter. Listen, tell me which button to push. <laughs> I'm old now. I, when it comes to this, I just like feel like I'm out of date sometimes. Like I'm, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Like I get my phone, I know how to work my phone. I got an Android, so, and I'm sticking with Android because I don't know nothing else. I don't have Apple, Android. It don't really matter. Once you have it, you have it for a while. You know how to work. You know the ins and outs. You know how to do it. But man, these people be handing me their phones, and I'll be like, because okay, I don't deal with Snapchat, so I don't know how it looks. And then they be like, I don't know if you're doing a story. Do I hold the button? Do I tap the button? I don't they like, oh, know. This is a, he must be doing a story. Listen, yeah. and, and then some people's phone, I'll take a picture. And then it'll do something. And, and it'll say send or something like that. And I want to take another picture. Like my phone, I take a picture. It just it puts it in a little picture category. And I take another picture. You know, I just keep taking pictures. These things, he send, do you want to upload? you want to send? Do you want to post? You wanna, I just want to take another picture. Please let me take another picture. I literally be like, get this thing back to the picture place. I had on the phone, please get it back to the picture place. I cried. I've been feeling so old too. You know what? It is what it is. I don't care. I never thought that we would see a day that he say, I'm too old. What, what, what's going yeah. on? Because he was very tech savvy. Listen. Back in our day. I never. know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He built a computer. I still do all that stuff today, but that's all electronics. What's, what I'm out of date on is social media. Like all these social media platforms that you can well, be you on. Well, you better get on it. Like yeah. I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's well, you funny. better get on it. She do know Instagram better than I know Instagram, though, for sure. I sure do. Well, I, and I don't even know. And with what the stuff I know is intermediate, so you know he don't know nothing. Yeah, I don't do. I don't do. I'm trying to, you know, work it up, work it up. But mm -mm. now, what happened was I lost my Instagram when I lost my when I gave my phone back, and so now I haven't phone been back really, to uh, GE. Yeah, but y'all know so GE really paid been, for everything. I haven't really been doing anything on Instagram since then because it locked me out of my account. You know, you gotta have the same number. It's a big to do, and I ain't got no time to do what I need to do to get it back, boo. So I said, I'm just done. I'm through. Okay, come on. Let's go. I'm ready to be <laughs> had this over with now. And this is the end of the show. Yeah, this is the end of the show. Thank y'all for coming out. Because you started like, comment, trying to, try to you, you, you trying to rap. I ain't. And it ain't working for you. Listen, don't steal my song that you were trying to steal earlier. You can't even remember what it was. I don't even go there. Boom. Boom. That's all you I'm remember. coming. <laughs> Boom! Boom! It was not like boom, that. boom coming in the room. I boom, say boom! No coming in the What'd room. What'd you say? Nothing. I bet you can't even think about it. I sure can. Okay. He made some little rap, y'all. I was cracking up. Yeah, she was cracking was, up. She was like, "Ooh!" I said, I said, I saw myself. Okay, when we have our battle out, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Darius uh Dalvin battle out on Dalvin channel. I'm saying I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna steal. Yeah, it. she was gonna steal my. And I my said, stuff. everybody gonna be like, "Ooh." Now, we, then now gonna neither have one of us can remember it. That's how y'all know we old. No, we can't. Boom. He was That's all steps. you know he is was, the boom part. He was steady, taking steps with it and looked it crazy, too. He was, <laughs> <laughs> you was looking like a hot mess. <laughs> but I started laughing because he looked crazy. Oh he was goodness. shaking with it. Mm -hmm. Shaking with it. Okay, I don't know about all this. Yeah, he was. He was like, boom. Boom. I'm girl. coming in the room. Hey, hey. Boom. Boom. You better go get me a shroom. That didn't happen <laughs> at all. That did not happen. I knew he was going to say that. I, I said say it on purpose. Like that. Because I know he don't do no shrooms. Shrooms is drugs. Ain't yeah. that mushrooms and drugs? Yeah. Only mushroom I do is the one that come on pizza. Oh, Sit. Whatever. That's it, y'all. But, y'all, at the end of the day, look. Look at in this giveaway. You got to... Follow me on Instagram and YouTube. And uh, uh, type in enter me. You got to say enter me. 
Because some of y'all don't want to be entered. I understand it. I get it. What? That is just Cooked in. sunk in. And say I'm... enter me. So three things, y'all. Say enter me. Follow me on YouTube. Check your YouTube status. I'm telling y'all, when we, we don't pick the winners. I'm going to repeat this. Me and my husband does not pick a winner. We you. have a pick a winner app tool on TubeBuddy that all automatically pick a winner. But you have to go by the rules. So if you're not subscribed, we'll skip your name. If your name is picked, we'll look at that name and say, nope, they are not it, the person that's picked. And also be sure that whatever name is picked, it matches the email. Matches the email. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody have a YouTube uh -huh. has to have that um have an email uh -huh. on Google Gmail. Oh. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So make sure that whatever, if I pick you and you say, Oh, that's me, that's me, respond to me by with the same email of the name. You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Cause if it's if you won and it's your mama's account, but you email me under some other account, that's gonna make me feel that Why are you trying to, you're trying, trying to, to get over. Cause there's too many people that do that. There's too many people that do that. So you need to. That's me. Right, that's me. So you need to respond. I'm gonna contact you and I'm gonna tell you. We're gonna have another video of the people that winner, the winners, and I'm telling winners what to do. But you need to contact me under that same name and email because you can't. You can do it. Don't say you can't. You can. Because it's a it's, it's it's connected to a Gmail account under YouTube. Everybody has to have it. That's actually facts. Yeah, and so I could check you, like I said, on my analytics. Check how long you've been a subscriber, how many messages you have ever left me. I could check how long you've been a member or whatever or a subscriber or you are right, or uh, your uh, name. Follow on IG. That's what you're trying to say, right? Uh huh. How long you been follow? How many you Not can IG. check if you if YouTube. you follow me on IG? YouTube. Right, but you already said the stuff for YouTube. But. I'm, he said, comment and how long you've been a subscriber and if you follow. Baby. You need to go to sleep? Man, I'm halfway there. But you, we, we have the. The uh, only thing that's keeping no, me no, no, up no, no, no. We have the fact that I can keep staring at your beautiful face. Hey, anyways, y'all. Come I on, y'all are confused on this. No, because you're going to tell them anyway when you announce the winners. You're going to tell them the whole thing anyway. This is what y'all got to do. You got to be subscribed to Be Loves Life on YouTube. Follow her on Instagram at Be Loves Life 2. Number two. The number. the number two. Yeah, the number two. And then type enter me in the comment section. And I want them to recheck to make sure they are subscribed to me because YouTube oh, is yeah, funny. Yeah, That's yeah. what I was trying to YouTube get. YouTube is funny. I was saying people sometimes YouTube unsubscribe me. This is what I was trying to say. They uns it unsubscribe me. So if the pick a two pick a uh, winner picks your name and you're not subscribed, I'm going to skip your name and I'm gonna pick another winner. You know what I'm saying? Because you haven't paid attention to all the rules. But that's right, it. Right. And it's open to everyone, national, international, no matter where you at. We will pay the cost for the shipping fees and everything. We'll ship it to you if you live in the Bermuda Triangle. Now wait. Now if your stuff get lost in the plane, not my fault. Whatever. <laughs> anyway. I don't even know if that's still real. I mean, we used to hear about that a long time ago. I don't know if that's we still real. We did used to hear about that. Anyway, baby. Yeah, on that note, y'all, we're going to let y'all go because y'all have my husband Ooh. talking crazy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone and everyone. Let them know what your girls are on the channel. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I love you guys so, so, so much. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed. Peace out. Peace, love, and hair grease. Do see. And you keeping your sauce, baby? No. Huh? Oh. What? Why I got two thirds of a chicken love and you don't? Because you ate bread. Oh, uh, that's right. Thank you for making me feel good. I had that bread, it was so good. I'll see y'all later. Bye.